Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Aki, Mr. Brother, hey, Yekanen. First and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakak Wadash, Barakata. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well and that taught me this truth. A citation out there to the hopeful elect, the brothers that are putting this work diligently, sincerely, and truthfully. To you, I say Shalom, Aki, okay? Hey, today's lesson is going to be on how this world is going to soon pass away. Now, when we talk about the world, we're talking about a rulership of a world, okay? Because the earth is fairly young, okay? The earth is not going to pass away. The kingdom of heaven is going to be established here on this earth, okay? When we're talking about the world being destroyed, we're talking about the rulership. Who's in rulership? The so-called white man, Esau, Idumia, I Edom, I. He's the one that's on, that's on the dollar bill. He's the one that's in charge of the media. He's the one that, that dictates what's learned in the education system. He's the one that's in charge of the federal banking reserves. Okay, Esau, the so-called white man, is in charge of this world. All right, and he shares the world with all these other heathens. Okay, Moab, Ammon, the Chinese, uh, the Ishmaelites, you know, the, the Middle Easterns, uh, Saudi Arabia, you know, so on and so forth, man, the different nations, okay? And this world's going to soon pass away. And we are in uh, the end times, uh, if you can't uh, already tell. Okay, we're definitely in those end times, man. Okay, so it's beautiful to be able to see the the, the, the demise of a kingdom, all right, the demise uh, of an empire. Okay, just like Rome fell, just like the Egypt Egyptian uh, captivity fell, just like the Persians fell. Okay, America will also fall as well. Okay, Second uh, Ezra six and nine, for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Okay, so this telling you that Esau, the so-called white man, is the end of the world. He's the end. This, his, his, his ending is coming near and near every single day. We're getting closer to the end of the so-called white man's rulership. And Jacob, which is you Israelites, you so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, is the beginning of it that followeth. Okay, so the kingdom to come is going to be ours. We're going to be in rulership. It's going to be a perfect kingdom, an everlasting kingdom. Okay? Second Peter 3.13 Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. Okay, because the Lord gave his promise to Abraham, all right, Isaac and Jacob, the forefathers of our people. Okay, our forefathers. Okay, and he promised Abraham. Okay, and the Lord is a man of his word. Okay, we look for new heavens and a new earth when, wherein they'll dwelleth righteousness, okay, because the new earth that's going to be established is going to be nothing but righteousness, man, okay, we're not going to have these wicked abominations that's happening on in the world, we're not going to be selling no bullshit pride month, you're not, it's not going to be confusion to be able to tell a woman from a man, okay, it's not going to be a kid that has two dads, it's not going to be a kid that has two moms, okay, it's not going to be these women out here being whores and having multiple men and thinking that they're in charge and that they, what they say goes, okay, it's not going to be no abominable foods, Okay, it's not going to be no GMO foods, okay? It's not going to be no goddamn chemtrails in the air. It's not going to be no different uh, bullshit types of water, all right, where we have to check everything or we have to check in the ingredients of the food we eat, okay? It's not going to be no bullshit propaganda on, on the media. It's not going to be no lies and deception. It's not going to be no pharmaceutical drugs that don't really help you, all right, just make you more sick. It's not going to be no type of um, um, currency uh, that make or breaks you, like in this world, okay? People are defined by what they have materialistically, okay? In the kingdom, none of that shit's going to matter, man, all right? Especially not for the Israelites, because we're all going to be royalty. It's going to be certain levels, okay? You're going to have the elect, 144,000, the elect, you know, the one-third, and then the other, you know, it's going to be levels, like everything is, all right? Everything's always a level, okay? But there's not going to be nowhere near how wicked this type of world is, man. All right, it's not going to be no type of murdering our, our own people, all right, we're going to be jacking up the damn, the, the damn heathens, the Edomites, okay? But it's not going to be no evil eye or curse is not going to be on our people anymore, okay? We're going to be a righteous people in a righteous kingdom, okay? As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated, okay? Jacob, again, what we read is you so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, okay? You Israelites. He, the Lord loved us, but Esau have I hated. Esau, the so-called white man. Okay, that's why he had to get rid of his, his actual nationality, all right, calling him Edom, okay? He had to change it to, to white man. And we know that he's not actually white, okay? He's a red man, 
okay? He's not actually white. You know, you look up to the definitions of white, it's everything that we actually are as a people, as Israelites. And then you go to the definitions of the word black, and it's very derogatory, you know, negative, all right? And they did that for a reason, okay? But we are actually the white people, and they are actually the black people, okay? Esau have I hated. The Lord hates you so-called white people, man. All right, nowhere in the Bible does it say I love everybody. Okay, people bring out John 3, 16, I so love the world, but they don't go to John 3, 1, where it's talking about Nicodemus, the ruler of the Jews, who's talking about the world of the Jews. Okay, if you're a head coach of a football team and you say I love everyone, you're not talking about every team in the league. You're talking about everyone on your football team. All right, on your team. Okay, and you have different types of worlds. Okay, you got the gaming world, the sports world, you know, so on and so forth. So that world that it was referring to in John 3.16 was the world of the, of the Israelites. Okay, not the whole world. Okay, so, so the Lord, the God of the Bible does hate, you know, people. He only loves us Israelites. It says you upon the earth are the only family I have known, you know. So there you have it. Daniel 7.18 but the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom. How are we going to take the kingdom? Hey, by violence and bloodshed, man. All right? Because the Lord says in Matthew, I come back not for peace, but a sword. Okay? I come back for vengeance. All right? Vengeance is in my heart. And the dead my redeemed has come. Okay? So the Lord is not coming back here to make friends and, and, and drop lollipops and Easter bastics and fucking rainbows and sunshine. It says the day of the Lord is darkness and not light. Okay? Isaiah says the slain of the Lord shall be many. Okay, so we're going to take the kingdom, okay, and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. So there's not going to be no end to the kingdom to come, okay? Th th this is the last captivity of our people, okay? This is the last kingdom of our enemies that we have to uh, endure in, okay? This is the finals, okay? So we're just waiting for that kingdom to come, man. We're really waiting for the goddamn prophecies to happen in this place so we can get the fuck up out of here, man. Okay, Matthew 6, 33, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Okay, so you're supposed to seek the kingdom first. How do you seek the kingdom? Okay, by first uh, uh, fear in the Lord. That's the beginning of wisdom. Okay, then when you fear the Lord, you understand what his laws and statutes and commandments are. Okay, then you try your best to follow those laws, statutes and commandments to the best of your ability. Okay, but nothing is done without faith. Okay, what is it? Hebrews 11 and 1 or 1 and 11? All right, got to have faith, which is a gift given unto you. Okay, so you have to seek the kingdom of God first and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Because when you when you live for the kingdom, all right, and, you, and you're kingdom minded, all right, the Lord blesses you on, on this side, on this worldly side. Okay, the Lord always looks out for his men. Okay, yeah, we catch chastisement. Yeah, we catch hell. But also with that hell and chastisement, we also catch blessings, okay? We, we you know, we catch uh, good things that happen in our life, you know, blessings, okay? The, the, the bad things are just tests to help us and mold us into better men for Him, okay? Every test, the Lord not going to give us something that we can't overcome, okay? So those tests and those trials and tribulations are given to us to make us better, all right? The Lord is putting us through the fire so we come out refined as gold. Okay, because the Lord wants his men 100% certain on who they are and what they serve. Okay, the Lord doesn't want us second guessing nothing, man. All right, he wants all our faith and trust into him. Okay, that's why you have to be bought, brought back up through these scriptures, through the living water, through the bread of life. Okay, that's why it says, blessed is he that readeth. Okay, got to be reading the scriptures, man. Got to be studying. Okay, and then applying it. Okay, that's, the, that's what wisdom is, applying the knowledge that you have learned. Okay, so this kingdom is going to pass away real soon, man, and we can't wait, man, because we've been, man, we hope it happened last year. We hope it happened two years ago, but we know that certain prophecies have to be fulfilled in order for that to happen. Okay, so when we see um, things that happen in the world, you know, that other people look at as bad, hey, we look at it as judgment and we look at it as like good, man. We, we want that type of shit to happen. Okay, we want this place to fall. We want America to be destroyed. We want the people that held us captives to be captives. Okay, we want to rule over our oppressors. Okay, these are the things that we want as Israelite men, as Israelites, period. 
as the prince of the power, as Kwam Yasharala. Okay? This is what the Lord has bestowed upon us. This is what is waiting for us in the kingdom to come. Okay? So with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakwadash, Barakata. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone who grew well and that taught me this truth. And salutations out there to the hopeful elect. Your brothers are putting this work diligently, sincerely, and truthfully. To you, I say, Shalom.